drinking a cup of milk a day vegan? No. He's okay. He's consuming a fully organic diet. Vegan? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What's the symmetry breaker? What's the symmetry breaker? What's uh, the difference? Can yeah. You, what's can the you difference? apply? Yeah, sure. So what's the difference between the context of drinking a cup of milk a day and consuming an all organic diet a day? Um, what's the difference by which one is non vegan and one is vegan? Deliberately consuming animal products. Okay. So if someone, oh, so it's, and by deliberately, let's just get clarity. By deliberately, you mean intentionality? Yeah, from the consumer end, consuming animal products. Okay, so if it's an animal, so it's just if it's an animal product. So if you, and just to be clear, so consuming an animal product is intentional. I, I'm, I just, I just want to get clarity if it's just about it being an animal product or if it has to be an intentional consumption of an animal product on your view. Intentionally consuming an animal product. Correct. Yes. Okay. okay. Like in other words, if I order what I feel to be a, you know, I, I order the vegan option from a reseller, let's say uh, Taco Bell, I order the vegan option and they put cheese in it and I bite it. I didn't suddenly become not vegan. Correct. Would we agree on that? Agree on that. Yeah, 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 no, we, I, I would agree on that. But it, let's say you learned that they were doing this. They were putting cheese in something that they were selling vegan. We, you gained knowledge of that. And then you continued to do it. Would you then say it's oh, non-vegan? Totally. Like, I can give a personal example. I, I've had multiple occasions where at Taco Bell, particularly, it's funny, I gave that example, uh, they... They uh, gave me cheese a bunch of times, and I, I was like, that, you know, this is getting ridiculous. This is like, four, I think they failed three times uh, pretty I'm, much in a row. Sorry, right. I stopped going there. So let me just ask you this. Now, does, do you actually have to consume it in order to be a non-vegan, or could you just pay for it? Like, if you were to pay for, let me ask you this. If you were to pay for the taco with the cheese in it, and then just throw the cheese in the garbage, and then eat the taco, would you consider that vegan? No, I mean when I'm talking about consuming, I am talking about the purchasing. So yes, that that would okay, be okay. Yeah, the, it's the demand, the, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. So if we could do that, buying a fully organic meal or buying eating a fully organic diet contributes as much demand to animal agriculture as drinking a cup of milk a day, would you say that it's not vegan? I'm sorry. Maybe I lost you somewhere in the middle of the question. Can you repeat that? Yeah, so if we can show you, since you said it was about demand and not just about what is consumed, if we can show you that consuming a fully organic diet, at bare minimum, really it's a lot more than that, but at bare minimum contributes as much demand, really a lot more than consumption of purchasing a cup of milk a day, would you consider it not vegan? Um, not necessarily. So. Would you say that, uh, you know, if you don't mind me uh, putting some questions to you? Well, um, I, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I don't mind it, but I, I do want you to answer the my line of questioning. First. I said no, not necessarily. So what? Why? So, so what? What do you mean? Can you elaborate on that? Why would it not be? What's the difference? What's the symmetry breaker? Sure. So um, there are cases where organic do, can be fully vegan. Would you agree? I agree. With, agree with that? I agree with that. That's why I'm saying it's a gen. As it, my position is as a general heuristic. As but a that's, general but heuristic, that's, it's yeah. It's a that's general. That's what heuristic. I'm disagreeing with. That's that is my my question. My my contention comes down to the baseline point. Organic is carnist, not necessarily. Necessarily. I say as a general heuristic, organic is carnist. Can you break that down for me? Because I yeah, so, I, I, sure, I, sure, sure. So the or, there are farms that can be veganic organic. I'm not denying they don't exist that they exist. Uh, the issue is that they're very fringe compared to the organic farms that just do what organic industries do. They use manure. It's a very fringe practice, and I'm not. And another straw man, which I'm not saying this is your straw man. I'm, I'm saying it's not scalable. 
I don't know. I don't fully know. I don't. I suspect it's not scalable, by the way. But I don't know that it is not scalable. But it's currently not being used in mass. It currently is not. It, it is a fringe thing. This veganic organic thing. And look, if there is if there is wide availability for veganic organic, I would. I may even say in that case, it may be carnist to. It may be not not vegan as a general heuristic to buy conventional. But okay, then. Okay, I, I think we agree. Yeah, I think but the issue is, yeah, but the issue is right now, the way things are right now, that's not the case. And the overwhelming majority of organic does contribute far more demand to the animal agriculture industry than conventional. And well, so that's why I say risk, uh, not, I don't say in every single case, but as, in the, as a general rule of thumb, organic is carnist. Okay, I can understand where you're coming from. I what what I want to differentiate here is well, I, I think this does come down to the empirical evidence, um, and I'd like to pour over that. But um, if you if you would like to put forward some sort of hypothetical to, you know, so we don't just have this be a, a data study session, I'd I'd be glad to tell you where I stand. Um, but I think that so far we're we're generally in agreement. But here's Here's my contention, and you kind of popped in here a bit late. Uh, I'd expressed a lot of this before, so hopefully this isn't boring for people to listen to. But um, my contention here is that um, veganism, generally speaking, is is uh, working from the consumer end. It, would you agree that it is not working from the uh, reseller or distributor or uh, manufacturer slash grower end. Uh, we consistent veganism too, um, and just to be clear, like what when you mean by that is just like we're making just choices based on what we purchase, and that creates differential demand. Is that what you mean? Uh, I I I my I that what you said didn't quite process, but let me let me just try to be a bit more detailed. So. When we're, you know, if you're on the street and you're speaking to the majority of people, you're not speaking to them as farmers unless they would present themselves as farmers. So that would be the grower. No, no, no. I speak to them as no. I speak to them as purchasers. Yeah, I, as people who are going to consume. Yeah, consume. Right. So generally speaking, we're trying to approach um, potential vegans from the consumer end. And so we're not trying to speak to like if you go and buy from a reseller that's not vegan or we go and uh, the reseller, maybe they're vegan and they purchase from a distributor that is not vegan or the distributor purchases from a uh, manufacturer or grower that is not vegan. We're not really speaking to that part, generally speaking, right? I I, I just want to hear what where the this is going like what, sure. what's the point well I, I i just can uh can i get some some agreement on that i mean I, i'm just trying to you know i mean look when I, I just think it's a tangential issue like when i speak to people i think it's like this issue of what what i'm my goals are when i speak to people um or when i what i advocate is just it's completely tangential to whether something is vegan or not vegan in act it's, it's not even what i'm talking about it's just a completely different topic Okay, well, okay, I like I'll just I'll be more uh, rash, you know, speaking more rations with this. So, would you say that it, that it is not vegan to shop at a non-vegan reseller? No, I don't think so because I think demand is quant is is calculated with computer algorithms, and I think if I buy a water bottle at McDonald's, that absolutely that that does not this case that it will result in economic demand for animal agriculture is I haven't seen any evidence for that. I just haven't, and it's not some old man looking at the books. It's this is calculated with computers, and if okay. the agent was being rational, if the agent was being rational, and if I'm buying more and more water bottles from McDonald's then what the rational agent will do at McDonald's is re-up their water bottle supply, not increase the amount of hamburgers they're selling. Sure. I, I, I just, if forgive me, but I'd like to work up the line here. So would you say that a vegan reseller uh, purchasing from a non-vegan distributor is not vegan? Um, I, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Would you say that a vegan reseller purchasing their 
their products that they resell from a non-vegan distributor is not vegan or carnivore. I guess I would just have to get the information. I, I don't know the details. I would have to get the information on how much economic demand. I don't. What do you mean by? I just want to get clarity on what are these because I'm not um, that deep in, ec- in economics. So when you say reseller, what, what are you? Sure. So I, I mean, I'm just trying to really break down to a just finite. Just tell me what level. you mean when you say reseller. When I say reseller, I'm talking about like the grocery store, the farmer's market, um, someone who would be reselling a product that is either uh, supplied by a manufacturer or distributor, generally okay. by a distributor. Okay, and then, and then there's a... Ch- okay, and so you're saying if they purchase it from a non-vegan distributor. So let's say there's a, a, a veggie market that's get, having vegetables. We're assuming that this is... Um, we're assuming this is a vegetable market that is conventional, not organic for the sake of the argument, and they're purchasing it from uh, a distributor, and the distributor is not vegan. Is that is that what we're saying? Correct. Yeah. So the issue here is that if we were to pr- purchase the vegetables from the distributor that's not vegan, uh, the the if that vegan if that non-vegan is a rational agent, that non-vegan will just increase their farming of vegetables they're not we're not giving them incentive to increase their consumption or production of animal products okay so can we say that we're can we say that we're in agreement that a reseller purchasing from a non-vegan distributor is that that's a perfectly vegan act is that that yes unless unless we learn that they if we were given the information if we were given the information that they decided to act irrationally so if we were to say, okay, it turns out we found out, we did a little investigation, and we found out that even though we're only purchasing uh, plants from these people, if we were given information that they were taking all of that money and irrationally in just purchasing uh, hamburgers with it, then I would say it wouldn't be a non-vegan act. So that's the caveat that I would throw in there. Sorry, I... I, I that was just a bit complex. Could you repeat that? Sure, or sure, sure. Re- or re- yeah, yeah. So the, uh, this is all coming down to whether I am being convinced that there is a differential in economic demand and all easy alternatives are available in this context. So, Mike, when we talk about a ve- purchasing vegetables from a vegan uh, distributor. The assumption, the underlying reason that this distributor is going to be a rational agent and simply increase their production of vegetables and not deviate to increasing their production of animal products. However, what I'm so in that case, in the overall majority of cases, we would agree that that is a vegan act. However, if we were to learn otherwise, if we were to learn that this distributor was acting irrationally, that this particular distributor made a decision that they would take all the money from the vegetables that they sell and would simply use it to buy meat, that they would just invest all that meat regardless of of the market or anything. They would just act completely irrationally. Then I would say if you had that information, it would be a a non-vegan act to buy from that distributor. Okay, so by proxy, can we... Like, I'll I'll accept that. So, uh, you know, I'm not... I'm not taking that as my own claim, but I will accept what you're saying. And following on that logic, can we say that someone buying from such a reseller that would purchase from that group would be non-vegan as well? With if they learned, if they learned all of that information, if yeah, if they learned all of that information, sure. If okay, all so, of those okay, things so. were in place and all that information was learned, sure. So we're going beyond this. Uh, beyond the consumer end at this point. We're saying that that veganism is about uh, beyond the consumer end of the supply chain. Oh, it, it's no, it's it's a it's, it's veganism is about the it's a, well, it's all about. I mean, it is it's still coming down to the to consumerism. It's just if they had knowledge of what's going on and the different parts of the supply chain uh, and how that impacts their point of being a consumer, then sure, then decisions should be made accordingly. Absolutely. But in other words, they're like, if there is a vegan reseller, be it a restaurant or a grocery store that is purchasing from a non-vegan distributor, knowingly, 
then we should and essentially... And we're going, we're adding the caveat, we're adding, we're adding the caveat that we know, that we as consumers know that this, this, this restaurant is purchasing from this distributor, and we also know that this distributor is acting as an irrational agent to use all their money or something to buy meat or something like that with all the vegetables that we're, per, we're that they're getting money off of. We're adding like all of those things in place and we have all the knowledge of that, then yes, we should not go to that restaurant or, and buy the products for them if we knew all well, of that. Absolutely. If, it would be it would it would not be vegan, correct. Am I mistaken that you, you would be adding also that there's a reasonable alternative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's and there would be a there would be a reasonable alternative, which there would clearly would be because the, the, there's a very reasonable assumption to make that people aren't this kind of irrational economic. So in the I, overall so majority I, of cases. Okay, so um, I I understand your position. I I won't say that I quite agree at this point. I'm willing to be convinced. I have no um, particular leaning towards organic over anything else, but. Can you point out to me, can you show me one single example? That, that would be great. If we could start with one single example where if I buy, uh, I'll just put out an organic tomato or some other vegetable, an organic X vegetable that uh, does exactly what you're saying. Can you, can you point one out to me? Because I'd, I'd be glad to look at the exact data involved here yeah sure sure so the data the data comes from it's an inference that comes from the fao so the fao uh looks at the nitrogen potassium and phosphorus that are used that are used from and used from synthetic fertilizers are you following so far yeah, yeah. Um, okay. it's um, just that yeah. I, I, where would I find, could I look could at I, this? Sure, sure, yeah, 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 and someone linked the study archives, the data is posted in the... In... Veggies for Thought, that one, the last one? That no, no, uh, the, you know, stu study, study archives. Oh, sorry. So, um, it's a Discord, um, it's a Discord channel, it's a Discord I'm server. Yeah, I'm in there, um, where, where would I look in there, if you don't... Yeah, sure, hold on. Yeah, it's towards the bottom. Uh, crop. Let's see. The study share towards the bottom there. No, 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 no. You know, I'll just post it in general. I'll find it for you. Gotcha. Yeah, like I've been through Doctor Obvious calculations as well, and I made an okay. Okay, here's here's the primary inference where the data comes from. So. If you look at general, I posted the FAO. And this breaks it down by continent also. Sorry, I, Sorry. I'm seeing uh, YouTube Dr. Avi. Am I going above look there? At, look, at, look at general chat and AY Discord. Yeah, I'm looking in there. In there. So you see I what see I just veggies posted? for thought link. Sorry. I'm not seeing it. I it could just I'll be posted. I mean, it's posted like again and again and again by virtual. Oh shit! It's kind virtual. of like being virtual. spam okay. posted at this, at this point. Sorry, gotcha. That's great. I think it was just lagging on my end. Okay, so where where's the pertinent information that I'd be looking at? Yeah, so the uh, pertinent information. The pertinent information is going to go by continent and just take a look at over time the differential in synthetic fertilizer usage versus manure. So, let me see if I can get the pages. Okay, so we can start with. Figure nine. That's uh, page twenty. So this is an. I mean, we could do it by your continent. Where, which continent do you live in? I'm in the U.S. Okay, so you're in the Americas. Okay, so go to yeah, go to page twenty. Okay, I see. All right, and you see the manure applied to soils, manure left on pastures, synthetic fertilizer. Yeah. Okay. So most manure, and this is why, like people who, <laughs> that there's so much manure going around, are 
really missing it is because most of the manure that is just used to regenerate the pasture in the first place, it's just left on the pasture. Um, manures applied to soils is the manures that are actually used for fertilizer. And do you see the amount of millions of tons of nitrogen? How that's like about five, five millions of tons of nitrogen? Five, as million, of, five million. Yeah, as of, as of 2010. And On page 20, I'm not seeing... The pages are labeled by the bottom. Do you see figure nine, where it says figure nine? Oh, America? oh sorry. I, I was gone by the PDF. Okay. Scroll into it. Just one. So I'm on 20 now. Sorry about that. Um, Fifty-three okay. million. Fifty-three million. So it's not. It's it's. Wait, wait, 50. no. Look, look at the, look at manure supplied to soil is the pertinent. We're not looking at manure left on pasture. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's 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 between it it's basically just uh, maybe even four million, about, but like ra well, raising yeah, to raising. About. yeah. And how many do you see are uh, coming from synthetic fertilizers? Well, that seems to be increasing over time. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, so is, over twenty million why, as of this this point. Yeah, about was it about twenty five? Sure. Well, uh, 22, 22, maybe 20. Okay, sure. I, I don't have it open anymore, but yeah, we can go with that. And it's just increasing. Like we're using, we're using the most rec the most present numbers. And is this, sorry, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm just scrolling through this. So is this referring to organic or are we, what this we is, well, uh, here's where the organic inference comes to because organic across the board, doesn't allow for any synthetic fruit. Are you aware of that? Organic alone. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Okay, so this is referring to all of the farms. Now, organic doesn't allow for any synthetic fertilizers. Sure. Are you aware of that? Okay, so all of that, that 23 million tons, that, that overwhelming reliance of synthetic fertilizers that are being used by conventional farms it's clear that that's being used by conventional farms much more than manure there's the data that, that synthetic fertilizers they're not being used by the organic farms so if they're not being used by the organic farms it has to be that they're being used by the conventional farms given those two options between organic and non-organic do which you agree with that Okay, so in other words there's like a steady four to five million that are being tons that are being used by the conventional no there's a steady 20 to 20 like there's a steady approximately 25 million tons of synthetic fertilizer of nitrogen from synthetic fertilizer that's being used by conventional synthetic fertilizer yeah i yeah. was talking yeah. about yeah. Manure. manure manure oh, is, and yeah the manure is not being used this isn't conventional this is all this is all this is all farms it's it's pooled conventional that manure usage is pooled conventional and uh and and uh organic if you were to only do if if you were to only do conventional manure usage would drop even further and where because do i see that data uh, that's not... because no it's an, it's an inference because organic only organic doesn't use any synthetic fertilizer they're they're fully reliant on non fertilizers or on non synthetic fertilizer sources so look, okay. this is the data from everything pooled together. Now, if we were to just look at organic, all of that nitrogen being used for synthetic fertilizers would be gone because they don't allow any synthetic fertilizers. Are we in agreement so far? Yeah. Okay, so then where do the, does the rest of their nitrogen demand come from? So if we're at a starting point of 5 million, and we're just going to standardize all this to the amount of food produced, then where does, where does the rest of their nitrogen come from if they can't get it for this from the synthetic fertilizers? Well, one would think from the animal manure. 
Yeah. The the animal manure. That's and that's based on the data. It's it's that's where it's over overwhelming reliability come, comes from. But the, the this is manure. where I'm this is where I'm seeing a debate definitionally that um I'm speaking definitionally the idea that organic is carnist. If you said organic is carnist as a general heuristic. As a general heuristic, that's my position. Okay, that would be a little bit more descriptive, but the organic is carnist statement seems to be much more inflammatory so to say that. In the Michelle Lowe debate, I don't know if you watched it. Did you watch the Michelle Lowe debate? Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah. And I said, I think I'm almost positive I specifically said as a general heuristic organic is carnist in that debate. I'm not I'm not debating that at all. Oh, I'm okay. suggesting I'm suggesting that there is a problem in the framing of this that organic is carnist unilaterally. Oh, so then we don't do anything. Look, I, I've made it clear I I tried to make it as clear as I can. I, I'll do it again. If you have a fringe case where organic is veganic organic, it's not a problem on my view. In fact, it may it may be a problem to do by conventional at that. Right, but then in that sense, I th this is I mean maybe we're, under maybe we're as a misunderstanding. General heuristic, well, do we understand each other now? As a general heuristic, organic is carnist. I'm not in full agreement on there. I'm willing to to go further on that, but I was okay. Was, great. So let's we. I mean, we were going through the data. And now we went back to the original point. I thought we covered already. No. So what you're you know you're presuming by inference because they don't use synthetic that that implies they're not vegan, and well, we don't really have a. Well, no, they, I don't. I'm not saying in all cases. I'm saying gen, they're generally not vegan because they don't use synthetic, and therefore they're using far more food than, than conventional. So, can we look at that relevant data? Yes. Yeah, so, there's some rate of relevant data for that in the UK when they look at uh, the types of manure used. That's in the study archives on Statistica. But even just this alone, even if I didn't have that data. Um, I don't see how it doesn't fall. Just, just looking at how much of the nitrogen is relied for by synthetic fertilizers. How does it not follow? How does it not follow that if you were to take those synthetic fertilizers away, that there wouldn't be this differential in economic demand? Well, well, I'll, I can tell you where I disagree on that, but I, I want to. Well, I want to. I want to hear. I want to hear where you disagree with that, because I, this is like an inference that's accepted in peer, the peer-reviewed literature. There's like I can show you like this inference being mentioned in among scientists in the peer-reviewed literature. Like this is an accepted. Like a, it's only a point of contention in this weird organic carnism. Like in the scientific world, this is not like a. This is something that is not something that's contested. Okay, I just want to clarify. I mean, I, I'm perfectly fine to go into that, but I just want to clarify where we both stand on the debate proposition. That when I say organic is vegan, I'm speaking to the unknown quantity of organic which can qualify as not deriving. Okay, anything that's not what we're talking about. Two different things, then. Okay, so then we're just we're just talking about two different things. So when I say that organic that as a general heuristic, organic is carnist. I am saying that, I'm not saying that all cases of organic food are carnist. I'm saying that it is a good general rule of thumb to avoid organic unless you know, unless you have information that they're being organic organic. And the reason for that is because you can make a reasonable inference based on the data from the FAO that they use more plant products, use far more animal products than for, per amount of plant product than conventional. Yeah, what's I'm actually... Wrong, what's wrong with that? No, I'm actually fine with that. So great. So we don't we don't disagree on anything. Okay. So th here's here's what I see a problem with. You, you know this this discord is based on a bunch of personal attacks. So you you guys you, you say right, well, I, okay, defeat. I gotta, this, okay, this was listen, this, I gotta this was, go. I, I'm not I'm not okay. I I look we we don't we don't disagree on anything. Now we're just talking. You're just talking about the matter. So I I'm gonna go take a shower too. Well, that yeah, that's. Uh, he conceded defeat then because well, that was not what the debate proposition was about. He just, he conceded defeat just by leaving right now.
Well, if if you want to take a look at some of the data, I could go through some of the data with you. Like I've taken a look at I've, uh, Dr. Avi's calculations. No, he he um, ran away. Very. Well, hold on. Okay. Uh, we, I don't care about Dr. Avi's no, calculations. We, we, he just we, ran away from well, the we, data. We, he we, can see One sec. One sec. One sec. Like let, let's just forget about the meta. Like I I don't care like who ran away or who won. Like like you care about like what actually is right and like knowing the data and like forming an opinion that is stronger. Right. Like. That, that, that's what I care about. I don't care about like who won the debate or who ran. No, away. I don't either. But I'm just saying that there are people commenting that I'm retarded. Uh, uh, well, like, that don't, I, concede don't defeat. Like, I don't concede defeat because I just won. He left on the point that 